Hey guys, Joseph R. Long, the Sumo Size Ginger, coming at you today. And today, I'm doing another video about nursing versus sales. Be sure to hit the subscription button below if you'd like some weight loss advice, some inspiration, or you'd just like to keep an eye on my journey. I know, I just covered the subject last week, but there's so much that transfers over from nursing to sales that I just couldn't fit everything in. And since I had time over the weekend, I was able to think of some other things that really do make them gel together. Now I said it last week, and it still remains true. Both of these positions take a special kind of person. You have to remain resilient, not just in mind, but in body as well. Now what do I mean by this? I mean, you never know the situation you're going to face that day. And how you tackle it needs to be something that is a pattern for you. You need to be able to face adversity and rise above it, rather than sink below it. This means when a challenge faces you, you don't run away from it. You run towards it. Now you also need a thick skin. Patients, when I was in the nursing field, especially on the psych wards, they were not very forgiving. If you did something they didn't like, they were as apt to come at you with a swing, try and bite you, a million different things other than come and talk to you about what their problem was. That's not all patients. I mean, most of them were extremely peaceful and I never had any kind of a violent interaction with them. But the ones that were violent, you always needed to watch your back. At least in sales, you don't have to worry about the customer coming through the phone and slapping you in the face. People are emotional and they don't really understand how emotional they can be. I know there are times when I'm talking with somebody and they'll say, but I'm not emotional about it. Meanwhile, when you look back at the conversation, all they've really done is be emotional. You have to be open to new ideas. In this world, we're all individuals and we all react to situations in a different way. Some of that has to do with how we're raised. Some of that has to do with just who we are as people. We come from all backgrounds and you never know what's going to be offensive to one person or not offensive to another person. But if you're willing to learn, which is another trait, you're willing to assimilate those new ideas into something that forms a cohesive thought of your own. It's only by assimilating these different viewpoints that we continue to come together as a people. We are just humans after all. And the last thing in my mind, you have to be coachable. When somebody is criticizing you or something that you've done, it's not a personal attack against you. They're just trying to point out where you can improve. And there's always room for improvement. Now, I don't know about you, but me personally, I am constantly, every day, looking for a way to better myself. Whether it's in a small lesson or in big ways, in big changes, like my weight loss. Always strive to do better. So those are a few more things that nursing and sales have in common. Just a few things that I've learned over the years, and I feel they're easily transferable between both types of jobs. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a like and a comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscription button if you'd like some weight loss advice, some inspiration, or you just want to keep an eye on my journey. I hope you guys have a fantastic day today. Bye.